Wilmer Valderrama has a history of dating vulnerable people in their late teens, early adulthood. People like Lindsay Lohan and Demi Lovato and even Mandy Moore when she was like 15 years old. This guy is giving Scott Disick energy a little bit of Leonardo DiCaprio. So let's go ahead and get into it. So let's talk about Wilmer Valderrama. He is an American actor, producer, and TV personality. You guys probably recognize him as Fez from That 70s Show. Okay, you guys, this is not funny. This is like a nightmare. Yes, Erica, stop teasing. <laughs> Kelso, I want you to know that I feel bad for you and that I am sorry. You are not a man! <laughs> But he's been working ever since that show, and he's been pretty busy in Hollywood. He's managed to stay popular with over a million followers on Instagram. And like I said, he's been busy working it up. He's got a podcast. He's stayed in the scene. To be honest, I've only seen that 70s show a couple of times, but I have seen Wilmer's name on social media, and people are calling him out. Someone wrote on Twitter, this is random, but when did the conversation end about Wilmer? Pray on young women in the industry, being full-blown in his 20s, dating 17-year-olds. And the two we know ended up with major issues. This person is referring to two of his relationships, which we will unpack today. Someone else wrote, does Wilmer have a punch card for young women he's ruined? I bet it's close to being full. And another person was quoted saying, which came first, the emotionally broken young women or the Wilmer? A lot of people have called him out throughout the years. So let's start off by talking about some of his relationships. And I would like to start with Lindsay Lohan. So back when they dated, Lindsay was 17 years old and he was 24. Um, Lindsay has had a difficult time in Hollywood, as you guys know. If you want a Lindsay Lohan video, comment below. But anyways, um, she dated this guy right before she had her big mental break. They went official with their relationship once she turned 18, but everyone knew that they were dating back when she was 17, and shoot, who knows when they first met. Wilmer actually got Lindsay a small role on the show, That 70s Show, but it didn't last long. Oh, you have to choose, him or me. But, I said I... choose, woman. <laughs> well, Fez, if I have to choose between the two of you, I mean, the choice is obvious. <sighs> I choose you, Fez. What, are you stupid? <laughs> I mean, I mean, of course, yeah, it's good choice, yeah. <laughs> Wilmer has also made really uncomfy comments about Lindsay Lohan and all of his other ex-girlfriends, which we'll talk about in a little bit. He went on to Howard Stern and he said way too much. It was so disrespectful. I feel like we finally got to see his true character. So let's go ahead and talk about some of these clips. Yeah, thank you. Okay, yeah. Lindsay Lohan, just take me back there for a second. She'd get, she was so in love with you that she'd get jealous and erase your phone numbers from your, uh, from your cell phone of girls well a lot of stuff happened that really you know shouldn't have happened you know good for you, <clears throat> good for you. What do you good. i mean she was 17 at the time like okay so she's gonna act like a teenager so like you start waiting so you start looking through your cell phone and then you say hey, well, where is someone's <clears throat> number you get confused well, you know, look, like I said, a lot of stuff happened. Did she all or just the girls? No, there was, <laughs> there was times where there were certain things that made her uncomfortable. And I, you know, sometimes you as a man, you have to kind of you know, cater to such Smack you know, her around things, a little? You know? <laughs> you know, there's certain insecurities that come with being in love, I guess, you know. Did she cry when you dumped her ass? I mean, yeah. Who'd you dump nice. her for? I mean, I mean, look, it was very, it did was very dump, dramatic for both. Honestly, Howard Stern needs a video because the way that he speaks about people sometimes is just way too far but wilmer did actually break up with Lindsay during the lowest point in her life right before she really fell into her addiction her father was in jail he was an absolute mess and i'm sure it hurts Lindsay to hear wilmer speak about her so disrespectfully on this show assistant or something <laughs> i gotta be in a show mandy moore's I'm mother was like yeah the keys are over there the car <laughs> no it's you know, alexis when you're, dating, when you're dating Lindsay lohan her dad 
is in jail now, right? Right. Like, did she, they, do you get involved in all that family stuff? No, well, you know, when we were dating, you know, she was going through some tough times, and I was there for it, you know. Nice. I, um, did you ever I, do um, blow with the father? Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, I never saw any of that. Now, let me ask you something. <laughs> Lindsay starts getting real skinny. Is that when you bailed out of the relationship? No, no, she, no, no. To was be she, honest, was that she happened. Was she anorexic or what? Did you that, catch her vomiting? She, she lost weight, <clears throat> yeah. you know, after we broke up, like way after, you know. Oh. <clears throat> but so you I, got um, her when she was really hot with the big boobs. <laughs> well, I guess if you're going to put it that way, I guess, yeah. yes. But, but no, that, that she was, you know... You know when I when I you know when we met she was this you know this bombshell you know she was Jessica right. Rabbit you know what I mean yeah she did was you, Jessica did, did Rabbit. you have to deal with the, the the father the crazy father you know I I, I dealt with some of their family stuff you know but yeah. I was I was actually very happy to be there for them you know and uh, you know both of both of them had interesting points you know each one of them had an argument and does and she have I red hair down there um. No fire, in, fire no. in the hole? No, no. no fire in the hole? Hey, no. <laughs> you, uh... Oh, it makes me cringe. And also, throwback to my video about Lindsay's conservatorship that she was almost placed in. That video actually got me a cease and desist letter and had to be removed from the internet. But I am interested in Lindsay's past because there's so much to unpack there. Wilmer also made other disrespectful comments about Lindsay. I mean, he did confirm that she did not have implants. Um, shared that she was a fan of waxing her body hair, which is something we I'm pretty sure we just heard that. And this article notes that this is something that like no one would say if they had respect for that person. Like he obviously doesn't respect Lindsay. You'll see there's a theme throughout this video that Wilmer likes to go for people in vulnerable positions. So let's talk a little bit about Demi Lovato. I'm going to be mindful that they go by they and them pronouns. I started filming some part. I was like, you know what? I need to go back. So I'm really trying. Let's talk about their relationship. Demi actually speaks about Wilmer and their documentary they released on YouTube, where they speak about their ED issues and their addiction issues. Demi has really struggled with those problems in the past. And around the time that they were dating Wilmer. They started dating when Demi was 18 years old. Actually, this article is misgendering. I don't know how old this article is. Anyways, um, they started dating when they were 18 years old and he was 29. Their relationship lasted for six years. And even though they started dating when Demi was 18, everyone knew that they had, you know, known each other before that point. This article brings up a good point. Like, how is Demi going to connect with someone who's 30 when they're 18 years old like it's just like 18 is a very fragile age this article also alludes that wilmer did meet demi when they were underage similar to Lindsay, and they have a 12 year age gap they actually met back in january of 2010 at a psa shoot for the 2010 census so let's start from the beginning because they got together in 2010 and the two had an up and down relationship through Demi's eyes, Wilmer was so supportive of their battles with these issues, so they fell in love with him. Demi even credited Wilmer for their sobriety at times, which could have been detrimental because when they broke up, they didn't really have a reason to continue being sober. They even said in their documentary, the sparks never faded, but there are issues that I haven't conquered yet that I know I won't conquer if I'm relying on someone else to take care of the loneliness, aka probably like to take care of you know, the loneliness that's associated with addiction usage. It's just like a big cycle. These two spent six years together and we don't know much about their relationship. Some people assume there was some type of riff at some point. They did do an Instagram live together in 2019, but Demi has since wiped out all the pictures of Wilmer from their Instagram, but Wilmer still has pictures of them together. This article says, while fans will never know exactly what happened between the two, Demi's words about not being able to learn much about yourself when you date someone starting at the age of 18 is telling, which I kind of get that because I was in a relationship for six years. And even though it was a really great relationship and everything, it's still like, it definitely hindered my ability to mature and to I guess, find myself in a way. Now let's talk about his relationship with Mandy Moore because their relationship was pretty public and the way that he spoke about her is foul. So the two met when she was just 15 years old and they were together for about two years. And Mandy actually says that Wilmer was her first boyfriend. They are actually closer in age. Wilmer is 42 years old. She is 38. So they've got a four year age difference. So she was 15. He was 19, which is 
closer but still like i don't know like why is a 19 year old interested in a 15 year old that's the weird hollywood for you they just like push them to mature before they're supposed to i mean it's clear that wilmer is interested in younger women i mean there's still more people for us to talk about in this video but let's talk about him disrespecting mandy because that really hurt their relationship he ended up breaking her trust years later in an interview with howard stern howard stern really screwed over this guy while howard is popular for asking risque and sometimes cringe inducing questions wilmer had no trouble throwing Mandy under the bus when he appeared on the show. The two first met at a photo shoot and the romance blossomed from there. As Wilmer told Howard Stern, he took Mandy's V card and the, the act with Mandy was good, but it wasn't like apple pie, which is like, why are you speaking about like, like, it's just so gross to me. Mandy was very upset about what was said, especially because she denies it was true. She responded by saying the comments he said were utterly tacky, not even true, and it hurt my feelings because I like him. Um, He lied on Howard Stern about hooking up with Mandy for what reason? There's literally no excuse for Wilmer to lie about hooking up with Mandy back when they were like, what, teenagers? So if they dated for two years, like 15, 16, like 19, 20, like that's just a weird time. And um, I feel like Howard definitely like pushes this. Like he wants to get these answers out and, you know, maybe corners Wilmer into a point where he feels like he has to lie about this. But still, it's just like so... It's not real, and it's just, like, uh, it's, again, like, tacky. Mandy had the best words for it. It is tacky that he would speak about this and lie about it. In that 70s show, all of a sudden, you're getting high-class girls. Mandy Moore Man. is very attractive. She's one of the most beautiful girls I've what's ever met. The, and, you know, and what's to be the honest, approach? What's the approach? There are going young on? men out there yeah. wanting to know them. And then here they're talking about him taking her V-card and, like, popping her cherry. Ew, it's just so vulgar but um he makes the comment about the apple pie that really hurt mandy I know this yeah, yeah. Do, do you have to use some sort of tool to pierce that thing i I, 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 I will say this it is not like warm apple pie okay right. it is not, not like that. is your penis black and blue after you take someone's reason <laughs> exactly um um let's see how do we, how do i put this in the most political way possible it's just really good. Yeah, good. there you go. You enjoy this is it. really good. Did she like it, it or was she like, wow, that's painful? Um, I think I think I'm sorry for any girl it's gonna be painful the first time. So you know? when you're going out with her before she decides to give you virginity, can you do everything else to her? I mean, can you get oral, can you get all that anal and all that stuff? Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, you have to be you have to be a normal relationship right. after you know, there's this, there's some sort of you know, sense of attraction that someone else you know, mm. that someone has for each other. And look, when we first met um, you know, she was like this huge pop princess. You know what right. I mean? At the She's time, hot. She was, huge, and and like, and the thing is, they were, then I was told that everybody's so afraid of like saying or paying her a compliment or something like that. Mm -hmm. And the first time I met her, I remember the, the jukebox scratch. Like she, I, we, I, she comes up and I have you met Mandy Moore because she was doing a, she was doing a cover of this magazine and then she was interviewing like three or like four you know actors in the issue. You know, right. and that was one of them. And uh, and we were doing a photo shoot together, and she comes up, and she goes, have you met Manny Meyer? And I'm like, yeah, no, no, absolutely not. Hi, good to meet you. And she goes, hi, how are you? I'm like, I'm good. <clears throat> how are you? And she goes, I'm good. And I said, well, you look good. And the room stops. God <laughs> forbid someone just talked to the princess like that. So you in know? 10 minutes, you're f***ing her, right? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, five minutes later, we're talking about what's virginity anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but so no. you're saying because you walked up to her and said, hey, you look good, she it took just, interest in you. You took a shot. Right. It, it was basically what Okay, Howard Stern has a an edgy show. We know this. Like, we know that he likes to talk about these gruesome things, and we'll probably have to cut some parts of that out. A little mute, little p word mention. But, um, anyways, I just think it's weird that he lied about it. I mean, according to Mandy, he lied about this this like act in their relationship, and that's what makes me like really cringe. Unless like. He's not lying and she's like, you know, claiming it's not true, but just like really hurt by what he had to say. They're supposedly still good friends, but she was shocked by it because it was so unlike him, so uncharacteristic, but that's probably his real character. You just don't see it because he's trying to get something from you. She did confront him at some point and claims that I remember in the moment he tried to explain it away that sort of he did get caught up. Uh, he maybe insinuated more than outright said it. 
She continued, adding that her rebuttal was no. You outright said it. So she called him out and he tried to, you know, oh, I didn't mean, you know, I was in Howard Stern. You know how it goes. And it's just, that's not okay. It's not cool. While many people make mistakes in interviews, this one was particularly salacious. It made it seem as if Wilmer had no respect for Mandy at all. That or he wanted to take on the title of being Mandy's first. Even if it wasn't true, it was a bad look then, and despite the fact that they talked it over, it's still a bad look today. I couldn't put it any better. Mandy did speak about this publicly, and she shared that her father, her father, lost respect for him. I just remember my parents' reaction. They were bummed, Dawn Moore especially. My dad was like, what? I liked that young man. And I'm like, Dad, I know. Another person that Wilmer has gotten together with is an actress named Amanda. She's got 78K followers on Instagram. And it turns out they actually have a kid together. They have a 10-year age gap. But thankfully, they didn't date when she was like in her early teens. So that one gets a pass. While he can't take back the comments he said about his exes, hopefully he's grown from those experiences and understands it's not a good look to date women who are younger, fresh out of Hollywood, and more impressionable. Even if he had the best intentions at time, his Howard Stern interview did make it seem as if he saw past romances as conquests instead of humans, and that made it look as if he had other motives behind these hookups. His happiness now shouldn't erase the pain he caused in the past. Mm. I feel like someone who dated him wrote that article low-key. Like, doesn't that sound like someone who's like, I don't know, it sounds personal. But Wilmer now has a child with Amanda. They they are dating. Oh, she's a model, not an actress. She's a model. And they, yeah, it looks like they're they're settling down. So good for him. Hopefully, you know, Hollywood and relationships, they don't really go that great together. So hopefully they work out. I mean, they did end up getting engaged just like two months after dating. But again, that's the Hollywood relationships for you guys. And I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Here is my email. Let's go ahead and open a P.O. Box package item. What do you think about the situation? I feel like it's very interesting that he dated um, Lindsay and Demi, and they both had like a struggle like right after the relationship. Like that's kind of a red flag. Okay, so it looks like this brand Monarch Moon sent me a package. They've got handmade crystal and jewelry and decor. Monarchmoon.art.com, um, and it looks like you can use ten. Oh no. This is a thank you code for 10% off. But anyways, let's go ahead and read their note. Hey Sloan, my name is Catherine and I love your videos so much. They're entertaining and I can see how much love you and effort you put into them. I always watch them while working on new things for my small business. So I figured I'd send you some goodies. Please enjoy the necklace and the plant wand for any potted plants oh my gosh i'm so excited i can't wait to watch your channel grow in 2022 thank you Catherine. that's so sweet let's go ahead and see what she sent um i'm very interested in the plant situation so oh my gosh look at that uh, is this the plant like wand okay so we've got a package right here and the packaging was really good like this stuff comes here safe i'm wondering if this is the plant wand this is really pretty love that i can't wait to have a house one day uh, or just like a condo or anything just you know something where i can like have plants and look at these stones right here that she sent these are so nice wow i really love this blue one and let's look at this necklace situation <gasps> Mesh too. that is so sweet this one's like an arrow i wonder if they know i'm a sagittarius so this one's an arrow for like a Sagittarius. Oh, I love these. I've been really wanting like new necklaces lately. <gasps> Look, I'm so excited. I'm gonna wear this in like a new video soon. Yes, I really like that one. And then look at this one. Oh my gosh. It's like black. I think this is, is it Selenite? I don't think so. I probably don't have it right. But wow, that one's really pretty too. Ooh, thank you so much. I love these necklaces. Go and check out their site. Look, this little plant wand situation. Ah. Oh, so cool go and check them out link everything below and i'll see you guys in a new video soon why am i shaking all right bye guys